Greetings my movie geeks, welcome back to our Halloween countdown, 31 days of horror. I'm Nate the Ultimate Movie Geek and I'm joined once again by Mrs Movie Geek and we are watching horror films throughout October. Tonight we went back to our favourite uh, streaming service at the moment, Shudder. <laughs> We're not, it's not promotion, we just, you know, we've got a seven day trial so we're watching stuff. Um, tonight we watched The Witch in the Window. Directed by Andy Mitten. Um, and this film, as opposed to last night's film, I enjoyed. And I didn't think I would. Um, it's about a father who is uh, splitting up from... <clears throat> it's about father and son who are build, like tidying up this house. Uh, they're flipping it, I think he says it is. It's, so he's making it better and then he's going to sell it. Which it later turns out that... It's not. It's um, a last attempt to get back with his wife, move, the kid's mother, move the, and move the, the family, family out of the New York because they live in the city and mm. the father doesn't want to live there anymore. Um, well, neither does the mother, really. No. But they, they've they split up and money problems and all that sort of stuff. But they find this house and from the get-go, when you, the way it's filmed is quite clever because in the window above the front door, you think you see a woman. <laughs> so what did you think of this film? Yeah, I enjoyed it. It's a very muted film. Um, it's yeah. not um, scary. There's no, uh, you know, like horror. There's no horror or slasher or... It is just a very... It's subtle. It's, yeah, it's very, very subtle um, and explores the relationship more. And I don't know any of the actors in the film, but some of the pieces that the father mm. says to the son I actually found quite they feel they feel quite heartfelt yeah it was quite good acting in that aspect where he just starts being honest with his kids instead of like we yeah. all do and um, he's just not, not harsh but he's, he's honest yeah. with him and <laughs> it's actually quite nice in their relationship and then there are a few scary bits where stuff happens you have to go in the basement and you think oh god um, but it isn't, and like he, the kid wakes up one night because, like I said, they're doing this house up, and the kid mm. wakes up in the morning, and his dad's talking to him, and he's sort of half asleep, and he's talking mm. away, and like the father starts getting upset, and the lad sits up and he's like, "What are you on about?" And he, the father isn't there, and he gets up and looks out the window. The father's in the like garden, working. like working, doing stuff. So there's a few bits like that where you're yeah. like, "Ooh, that's creepy." But there's also a a, a nice. He's nice quite an interesting. who lives about a mile away and he says, doesn't he, the house is, I don't like the house. I've never liked the house since I was a kid um, because there was an old woman who lived there and she'd always sit in this window overlooking everything really. You could mm. see everything from there. And her husband and son died in a really bad like farming yeah. accident. And I think like a small town does, that there was rumours where she'd done it anyway. She's on the but outskirts. She used to sit on the porch, well, not the porch, it was like a window that overlooked. Yeah. Um, and you start to see her. Yeah. The kid, he runs upstairs to go, like, they're going out for pizza, and he runs upstairs, and he just stops on me, and the dad's like, what are you doing? He's like, she's here. <laughs> and they go up, and you're expecting it, because yeah. she's full, like, sat there. No, it's just like you And you think, in, yeah. oh, somebody's got in the house, it's going to be a thingy, and they go around to her, and they're like, excuse me, excuse me. Like, they're both scared, yeah. and then all of a sudden she just starts moving. She runs after him and says, she... Well, she, she doesn't say, get out, or anything no, like that. she's shouting, stay. Stay. But they run off, and then you see them in this, like, pizza restaurant. She's, she's not talking. She's just... not talking. <laughs> clearly not wanting to go home um, and delaying as much as possible. Yeah. And it is, it's a, it's like a strange film, because it really works. It's, it does. It, it doesn't, it's not terrifying. There's bits in it that properly creep you out the really thing i liked about the movie is there's a magic eye that's what i was going to mention before yeah, yeah. i'll let you take they have two uh, there's two scenes where 
uh, there's magic eye if you don't you, you should know what magic eye is if it's like a, an image that you have to really look sort of through to see the image so he said his dad comes in and he says i put it up on the wall and the kid knows what it says and i paused the film didn't i yeah and i was stood like oh right says so that <laughs> so if you watch the film make sure you yeah, pause it because pause it and do it at one point it says one thing and then on when you go back it says different. something else which I don't yeah. think we understood. The only way I can get magic eye is a proper look at the end of my nose, I really go cross-eyed and then slowly bring it back and that's how magic eye pops I'm like, I'm like, I'm like uh, right yeah, just don't cross my eyes too yet, yeah, but stuff like that. But it's, it's quite interesting that they add that in and we thought that it would come back later on in the film. And it didn't. And it didn't and you yeah. think it would have come back a third time but it yeah. doesn't. I don't think we should give spoilers because again I think this is quite relatively Yeah, well new. 2018 it 2018 was made. and it is on the one of the Shudder. streaming services Shudder. at the moment. Shudder. So we won't <laughs> give everything away because there's quite a few yeah. bits that are unexpected in it and you don't expect it to happen. Yeah. But I, th I think the, uh, like you say, I think the, the main part of this is the father and son bonding and yeah. I think that's what you've got to take away from it. It's not... Yeah in your face scary it's not junk scares it's not gory it's like it's a bit sinister a bit creepy yeah. and you know they're in the middle of nowhere and the neighbors are mile away yeah. and even he like yeah, he, he wakes yeah. up some of the mornings not every day and he's walking barefoot there to that house and he said that's he said that he keep he has nightmares and he wakes up and he finds himself mm. outside the house and he does that a couple of times so it's things like that that are quite like, ooh. Interesting. Yeah, they, rather they, than overtly ridiculously yeah. scary. Yeah, I think it's it's quite a satisfying film. By the end, you're like, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy yeah. with that ending. It does work really well. Yeah. So go to Shudder and watch it. Again, we're not. I'm going to give it six, I think. No, six and a half. I wow. Think. Yeah. That's, I thought that was, that was quite low. I'm going to give it an eight because I did enjoy it. Yeah. And compared to yesterday's, oof, Jesus. Yeah, from my pumpkin patch, eh? There we go. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this, uh, please like, share and subscribe. Um, and you can follow me on Twitter at Movie Ultimate. I forgot what my tag was. Uh, and let us know what you thought of the film, if you've seen it. And we'll see you tomorrow for... Oh, Young no. Four. I didn't realise that there was an 0 and 4, but we'll talk about that tomorrow. Bye.